Okay, so I've got my background laid out. I know I'm gonna be able to cover everything, so now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna start to lay everything down. So I took a picture of it so I know where everything goes, and now I gotta start gluing, which this ends up being a harder part. Now, we know what, we can look at this and we can see which layer's on the background. So where do you think, where's the back most layer on this? One that's all the way in the back. The one. A one that's all the way in the back. That would be the back most layer. You are absolutely <laughs> correct. Now, let's think about this a little bit more. Let's use our vocabulary and let's get some directional words going on in there. Where should I start? In the top. The top back. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Top corner back. Top corner in the back. Which top corner? The right one or the left one? Yeah. The the left one, very good. I know that right and left thing always screwed me up too. I had to put rings on to do it. So this is my back left corner, right? So this is the one I'm gonna do. So now the scary part comes where I kind of have to move everything over to the side. And I got my back left corner up here. Now the one thing I will say is when we did this, we know that I know that this kind of is in the way of it, right? So I know that I really only have to get like about this corner. So I mean, I am gonna save Oh, this is the scary part. I am gonna save part of this because I might need it. But I can't remember where that goes. Okay, let's do that. All right, so now I have this. And then this is rubber cement. And rubber cement is used by like graphic designers and stuff because what they end up doing, can you, hi, Dante, I'm teaching over here, so if you'd like to come watch this, that might be a good thing. But if not, any way around it, I kinda need you to be quiet. This is rubber cement, it looks like snot. And what we want is a nice thin layer of rubber cement. Dante, seriously, I'm not going to ask you another time. Not politely, anyway. Very thin layer of snot. And you see I put it on a piece of paper. Um, the nice thing about rubber cement is it cleans up really easily. It's also slightly, if you don't put it on both surfaces, it's what's called repositionable, which means that I can pick it up and put it back down again. But I wanna get a nice thin layer on this and it kinda of dries a little bit fast, so you wanna work with some speed here. And I'm gonna lay this in my corner. And then I'm gonna smooth it out. Now, with some papers, it leaves like a film sometimes, so you wanna try and be careful that you're not getting too much everywhere, okay? Now I think the next thing I want to do is, and this I haven't quite decided if I want to move it up or around. So this is where I had this, right? Mm -hmm. I have this on top of that, this in that bottom corner, this in here. Oh, this was moved over. That's why this is like this. Oh, that can't be there. Oh, that's what it is. And then this goes here. This goes on top of that. And then I had that stupid little spot that I took something from this picture and I was like, okay, I can do that. So basically I used three pictures to put this background in and it's there, right? So I know what I got going on again. Mm -hmm. And I probably shouldn't have to do this as much as I am, but I am. So I'm gonna put rubber cement on here again. And like I said, the large areas are harder. When you do your smaller pictures, it's not as hard, but the large areas are harder to make sure that you get it on there and you do it kind of quickly. But too, like it, it's not set in stone when you lay it down. So like I said, it is a little bit repositionable, so you can work on it that way. If you get a little too much on there, it's not the end of the world because it will just peel off once it dries. That's why rubber cement is so awesome to use for this kind of stuff. And this goes all the way up to the top, right? And I can oh, lay it down, she says, and slide it a little bit. See how I got that on the top there? It will come off and then once it dries, it'll like all ball up on itself. That's actually kind of fun. You can feel it on the top of it, and you're going to want to be able to, you're going to want to get it off, but. And then, too, let's say if something's not quite down well, I can kind of pick up a corner a little bit and put a little more glue on it, too. So I got that one done. I am so, like, why is this so hard for me today? I'm gonna 
set that there just so I can do this. All right. And I still have all of the stuff that I cut off from my old pictures so that if I get in a pinch and I have to put something in somewhere, I can figure out how to do it. But you'll notice like I cut everything out nice and tight and then so that it all kind of goes together. And even like with that greenery that I have, this stuff, I can move it around and put it in there wherever I need to if, I, if I'm running out of stuff there. So I got this going on. This will go right about there. Is that what I thought? I hope that didn't stick too much. Oh, this goes underneath that. That's going to be a problem. Okay. Oh, there we go. I'm just going to do it. there so I can pick it up and put something under it because I think I need to set that down before I'm ready to go. Okay, so when you all have questions about this later on, I'm supposed to say what? I can see from there. Can you really see me from there? Yes. Oh my God, and you even gave it up to Asia? Yeah, Asia's chocolate. the only one that, you're awesome. Your friends, not so much. All right, that's not in the right spot, so I can pick that up, put that down. Oops, she says, now this one's gonna be so that it doesn't move so much, but that's okay. Lay that down, put that in there. Uh-oh, why isn't that in the right spot anymore? Uh-oh. Oops. Of course. I think it's a good idea, unless, of course, you wanted something larger, and then we can have a conversation. All right, so you get the idea. I'm going to work on this some more, and we'll come back, okay? Thank you.